Are we ready for the word? Yes. Stretch your hand and say, Lord, bless the preacher. Lord, bless the preacher. Amen. The person coming to preach for us today is, I was the pastor for my dear aunt. Amen. Our name is Pastor Beverly Scott. She is not going to be preaching to the dead. But she will bring a word of comfort to yours, your hearts and mind. Amen. And you promise that you're going to be praying for her. Yes, sir. Yes, we have a responsibility to pray while the natural message is being delivered. But before she comes to preach for us, I'm going to be asking a son in law, George Crew, to come and do a solo for us. When is the morning? And you feel better all day. Take a little time for Jesus to get on my journey and pray. He took the time to die on the cross. So over soul would not be lost. You'll find yourself sleeping in the teeth you do. Pastor Hudson, Pastor Karen, oh, Pastor Karen. Yeah, I love my mama, 
more than everybody who is here tonight. Mama is my special guest. Mama live with me. And if I go out in the night, and I go out in the morning, and I don't come in like 12 o'clock. Mama will never sleep. She's not going to sleep. She's dead up. And she's dancing. She's down there. Ready to come home? She's looking out and hear the truck. That's when you have a truck. I knew it. You will be calling me on the phone and say, What? Hey, where are you? And I said, Mama, let's go for me. And you wait in the video and she'll come inside the room. Then, then he happy. He happy. He happy. He happy. Bless the Lord for my mom. I love him, I love him like when Jesus loves little children. I love my mom. More than our mama love the little children. Yes, I more than our mama love little children. Still so say that then. Yeah. Show your love to me, mama. Yeah. Ah, when I go here and look at my mama. Ooh. I don't know if my mama. Say mama is sleeping. I know mama. Because the Lord has called her. And she goes, oh, I want to see mama someday. If I don't do what I want to do, if I don't do the good things, I'm not going to see mama. Because I know I take a surgery. So I don't know if you want to, but if you, if you don't hear my advice, it's because I miss mama so much. I miss mama so much. Because mama would never sleep at night before he still come to me always. So I got a special love for mama. And I will, I'm, 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 I'm crying all day, you know, I like this in my eyes. So I just want to see my special son for my mama, because I miss him. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marley. 
Angie passa a Sony so, Ora con Vigo e Angie che è insieme Se Vigo fa anche Vigo Mi manda io mi sisca 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 I'm going to put this glass up. One hour sister. I want to put it on sister. Right? I'm going to put it on your man. 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 Everybody, see? Auntie, Auntie Nick, I'm a big friend, you see me? See? Men I talk all the time. Yeah? Men I talk all the time. We come to Jamaica, yeah? The 24th of March. And we go to Auntie Nick, and you have a hospital uh, the Saturday night and the Sunday night, and she's every morning. I'm a nurse. You see me? My bitch, because if you love her just like over your parents and my auntie then and the, 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 the family then, because we love the whole man, we love the family you now. We yeah, love the whole man, we love the family. And we love, and we love people in general, yeah. We love, we love the mother and we love people in general, but it's the family, we love them down to them. You see me? Everybody, whether America, Canada, England, Jamaica, everywhere. I love them, I love my family, I love my mother, I love my family. See? So, when I'm big up Auntie Little, our family, our siblings, our sons, daughters, nephews, niece, and everybody. And I know I'm say, Auntie Little, we let you go and we have a miss you. And we have to say, rest in peace. See? God bless your soul. See? Praise God. Family man.
thank you very much. Here I'm ready. Here I'm brothers and sisters. This has a reverence tribute to mom. And a poem. Alright. And all the other leaders in the house. Distinguished guests, family members, relatives, and friends, little children. Good afternoon to you all. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to, to acknowledge the presence of my pastor, Ella Williams, if you heard earlier from. I'm so grateful for the support that he has lent to us today. It means a lot to the family. And of course, all the aunts and uncles, you know, many have made a sacrifice from, you know, near and far. And uh, I would let you all know, everyone that is here in the region of my voice and beyond, that the sacrifice that you have made to celebrate with us today will never go unnoticed. God bless the name of the Lord. Yes, these are my brothers and sisters, my siblings, and I would like to make my apologies for Devon. Yeah, he's not here. Uh, circumstance beyond our control. And Errol, he's not here. Again, so I, I can count, you know, there's quite a few home and abroad. They've gone on before us, you know, why they mentioned mom, his dad, sons, and there's many, which I wouldn't even be able to, to name at this time. Just a little remembrance first before I do the poem. Today I can celebrate instead of more abstinence beyond our control. And uh, of course, I miss dearly at this time, you know, you know, he said the last song, you know, one of our other brother. And of course, quite a few of, you know, the family member. I remember one time I didn't have anyone that I... But as the years go by, the life of our dearest mom. And of course, in, in today's world, many of the younger children, they will have a posh name to call their mother. Some say mother, some say mom, and all you, I love to say mama. Yeah. <laughs> and with that comes papa. Yeah. It's probably old fashioned, but it means a lot. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of the world. So instead of mourning today, we are rejoicing. We are, will refuse to be saddened. If I may take a look at just a single page of Mama's book of life, which fills me with nothing, sorry, it's us, nothing but admiration and amazement. She's of a very small statue, but a giant of a character. Yeah. She loves a challenge. It's very hard to raise one child, but she prefers the option of nine. Me being the, the seventh which is way down in the pecking order among my siblings. I learned very well how to behave myself. So that whenever I try just to alter my behavior a little, Mama will say, Udo no tell no life on her ball. No, 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 no tell no life on her ball. One thing that is, you know. And I always say, yes, mom, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> but little do I know 
No, mom just waiting until she catch me right in her arms. Which, you know, when I thought it was all done and safe, by and by. No, 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 no. no. All of your poop. You feel me? And that's my mama. None of us will be exempt from mama's arm reach. She, I love when she's going up to my older siblings. I was, I look to the right. I've got King. Yeah. And mama will say, if you're tired like a poopo tree, me can't touch you now. And I will reach you with stick. But no one more than when she's going after my sisters. Me want to know if I smell you, I smell your kin. Wait. You see them do something there in front of you? I will pop them off, you know? I was quite small, so I didn't know what thing she was talking about. But she was very saucy and witty. As I said earlier, small in stature, but great in her character. She's loving, very loving and kind. In fact, I am who I am today because of my... Mama will take us to church. In fact, there is no such thing as not feel like going to church today. We all go to church whether we like it or not. And she taught us to pray. She shows the old fashioned way. Mama isn't afraid to get her hands dirty to ensure that we go clean. Whatever we will desire in school, for education, for whatever the skill that we will be required to have, Mama will do whatever it takes to ensure that all of us will get exactly what we wanted. I remember when I finished school, and it looked a bit like I did love school. I said to mom that I would like to further my studies. And she was ready to throw another partner. I says, mom, I would not let you do that. I'd rather to go on work. Because she worked tirelessly. She do all that she had to do. And ensure that today, all the children that she brought into this world is well looked after. Amen. Who don't have trade, I dare not want it. Amen. We love and we care for Mama in a very, very special way. I sat there and I tried to close my ears for many things that would be said. Because I thought I was one of the tough men. But losing my mom has shaken me up. In more ways than anyone else would ever know. I'm not living here, but mom is never far from me. I love nothing more than not just Sundays, but Sunday evening, and I'll I'll be on the phone with mom. And sometimes when I think she should be sleeping, you know, we're just there talking away, and I'm not afraid to talk about the good old days. Right onto the old days.
she's not only loving to us as her children, but her hands is far reach to everyone. Everyone. I saw mom look after people's children like it us. And I would say, but mom, you already don't raise your children. It's time for, no. She give the same vigor for everyone's child. Everyone is important in mama's eyes. I would stress that we weren't raised only by mom. Papa will be there as well. I can tell you that he will be a very present help in the time for beating. Because when mama couldn't manage anymore, Papa will take over. I didn't carry it. <laughs> One thing that I can't do is read everything that I've wrote for Mama today. But as usual, those who know me will know that I would never ever able to read anything that I write. But with that, I would like to say a poem from my mind. Jewels in my crown, in my mother's crown. Today the Lord had placed the jewel in my mother's crown. He held up a golden crown as my mother looked on. He said in his gentle voice, I will now explain each one. The first gem, he said, is ruby. Not Aunt Ruby. <laughs> yes, you are, Aunt Ruby. Yes, you are. The first gem, he said, is ruby. And it's for endurance alone. For all the nights you waited up for your children to go home. For all the nights by their bedside you stayed till forever went down. For nursing every little wound, I added this ruby for your crown. An emerald I placed in the ruby for leading your children in the right way. For teaching them the lesson that made them who they are today. For always being right there through all life's important event, I give you a sapphire stone for the time and love you spent. For untying, for untying the strings that held them when they grew up on the home, I give you this one for courage. And then the Lord added a garnet stone. I place a stone of honesty, he said, for all the time you spent on your knees, praying for your children, present, future need, and then for having faith in me. I have prepared for every little sacrifice that you made without them knowing, for all the times you went without to keep them happy, healthy, and growing. And last of all, I have a diamond, the greatest of, the greatest one of all, for sharing unconditional love, whether they were big or small. It was your love that helped them grow, feeling safe and happy and proud. A love so strong and pure, it could shift the darkest cloud. After the Lord placed the last jewel in, he said, your crown is now complete. You have earned your place in heaven with your children at your feet. Come home, my child. It's time to meet and greet. My sweet mama, may your soul rest in peace. A lot, a lot, but I think I have more to say than anybody else. Yeah. But I won't say them all today. 
Um, instead of saying that, I'll just ask a few questions. Who will meet me at the door with a cool glass of drink, hot or cold? Who will wash my stockings and hang them to dry for the next day? Who? Well, after a hard and long day at work, get me a hassock to rest my tired feet. Who will put my feet in their laps and massage them? <coughs> Who will follow me to the hills of Westwood High School to talk my daughter in? Who will sew the ribbon on her hat and pull her suitcase? Who will call me? Her pretty girl? Be nice. Ruby, one eye. Be love you, see? Oh, I love you, my pretty girl. Well, all these questions uh, will stay hanging in my memory. I have so many more memories of Auntie Liko. Too much to even mention right now. But um, I will keep these questions in time. Questions. All right, this takes me to the eulogy. Um, just to clarify one thing, many people felt that Auntie Little, or Mama, was suffering during her last days. She wasn't suffering. She did not suffer. She was eager to go home. She said her Lord was waiting for her. When she would say, um, you know, I'm ready to go home and talk to my Lord. I have a long talk with my father this morning. I remember Shanta said, Mama, where you talk to your father? Say? And she said, don't worry yourself. <laughs> I had a long talk with my father this morning. She was ready to go home. And even on her sick bed, she was happy. When asked where she wanted to go, if she wanted to go on the road, she would gladly say yes, as she loved the road. But her eyes were filled with light as she said, I really want to go home. Um, Proverbs 31 verse 10 said, and I quote, Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. I can say today that my aunt was a virtuous woman and a special one. Mama, Sister Little, Auntie, Miss Myrtle, Miss James, and Papa Firestick. Yes. Papa Firestick, she was loved by her father. These are some of the names given to this icon. Edna Martin entered this life on the 18th of November, 1941. She was the fourth child of the late Cardelia Shirley and Albert Martin, both deceased. She was born in this noble district, Grants Mountain, and was educated at the Moore Mountain All Age School. She started school on the 14th of January, 1952. She had four beautiful sisters. The first one being Adassa. She's now deceased. That's the, that's the mother of Wiley. Wiley said you mentioned her. I have her here, Wiley. She's right here. <laughs> she never left my memory. Rebecca. As Aunt Dairy, Aunt Vira, Aunt Merle, and Ruby, the one who sang beautiful, beautifully today and said she was the prettiest one. Wow. <laughs> my mom, our mom, my brothers are here, wave your hands. Moderator, yeah, that's my brother. Yeah. Gacy, I tell you. 
Wave your hand. He played beautifully at the setup last night. Um, okay, back to this. After leaving school, he went to live and work in St. Anne's Bay as a living or a domestic helper. That didn't work out well for her, so she went on to Montego Bay where she worked. Just the same. Being in Montego Bay, she met and fell in love with Rupert Burnett. Now deceased, the union produced three children. Devon, Francis, otherwise known as King, Jackie, sorry, and Jackie. After the death of their father, she met and fell in love with Mr. Martel James, who, was, who later became her husband. He also died. This union produced five children. I was going to say beautiful, but some are answered. <laughs> As it relates to education, Mama was very keen on pushing her children to get a good education or learn a skill. She would throw a partner like yearly to make sure that they, you know, got something in their head. That mission was accomplished. Sharon, a housekeeper, she worked at Hilton Rosal. Sam, a builder and contractor, deceased. He left us like five years ago. Errol, he's not here today, sadly. I don't know for what reason. But he's one of the best tilers in Montego Bay. A small portion of his skill is demonstrated on the resting place of their mom. Yes, he, he helped to build that, right? Nerval, we call him Nerval, but he's really Aaron Tucker. You just heard from him a while ago. Yes, he from England. Donovan, yes, he's an electrician. Yeah. Right, Donovan, a mason, a fine mason. Karen, the last one. She's an aspiring writer. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing this prophetically. <laughs> yes. She's going to write a book. Yes. All right. That one, a tailor. King, body workman. And Jackie, the best cook in Montego Bay. Right, Dr. Scott? Okay. <laughs> She was blessed with 30 grandchildren and over 15 great-grandchildren. I know of two on the way, probably four. <laughs> yes. Miss Grant loved to work. Sitting at home wasn't her thing. So she decided to try vending. That was her last job until. She says everywhere and anywhere she could find a good spot. She later moved on to selling at the Montego Bay Infant School, where she worked for over 30 years. She loved and cared for the children, just like her own. She knew the ones who could not afford lunch, so she would make sure that they were fed. Nothing was too good to give them. The children loved her dearly and could not wait for the bell, for the bell to raise to Mama's staff. She was also loved and favored by the principal and teachers of Cornell the Primary and the Barks Road Primary School. Yes, Montego Bay Infant School as well. Her recommendation for new students to both schools were very effective. She was known as a lady that pulls the string to get children into one of these top primary schools in St. James of their choice. Edna was a devoted Christian and a senior member of the Seventh-day Pentecostal House of God in Montego Bay. She reads her Bible every day and night. Yes. She lived for Christ. She's an ardent listener to Love 101. She knew everyone that worked there. She could tell you which DJ was coming next, absent or sick. Our favorite girl was Brother Banner. A selfless and loving mother, grandmother, sister, 
and aunt, aunt and friend. She was a loving mother, grandmother, sister, aunt and friend. I often say, if kindness was a crime, she would get a life sentence. She gives out of nothing. She would give the clothes of her back to make others feel comfortable. Karen remembered her like this. Mama taught me how to fight. She remembered the day she got into a fight and lost the fight. When she went home and told her mother, she, <laughs> she was very upset. She said her mom held her and started hitting her while they went straight into her how to fight. She said, I think I'm so She said, I think I'm so I think I'm so, so And she would beat the daylight out of poor guy. The following day, Karen did demonstrate her lesson to one of the bullies. And she also taught this to, to my mom, Jackie. And she also taught me a few things about other fighters. Well. She wanted to ensure that her children and her, and her loved ones were always protected. Right. Yes. She was a little more eh? Same goes for Chantel. Chantel was, Chantel was loved by her grandmother. Not that she didn't love the rest. But I'm talking of what I know. She, she, she loved Chantel because Chantel was always there with her. Dirt, I don't feel bad. Under her style. She loved you as well. <laughs> Alright. Um, when Mama fell ill, Chantel moved in with her and helped her with everything. I mean, just about everything. She also said one day she got a beating from Mama when she lost a fight. She had that, she said she didn't graduate because while the graduation session was going on, she was in the principal's office for a fight. She said she remembered her grandmother that way, you know? But she said she's a good girl now, she stopped the fighting. She fight no more. What do I test her? She learned. Even Kenyan remembered her. Kenyan remembered that one day she went to a neighbor's house and saw two cakes on their table. So she picked the icing off the cake. The cakes? Yep. Thank you. Of both cakes. Kenyan, that was rude. So when Annika heard about it, she said she put out her ten fingers and used a spoon to beat her. Making sure that she would not steal from anybody again. She has not. She has grown to be a beautiful young lady. Yes. All right. Saying all of these doesn't mean that she was a violent person. She was just simply tired of the complaint that kids often pick on the children at school and she just wanted them to be good children. So she had to do what she had to do. She was very creative. She enjoyed using her hands to make fashion. She mastered the art of cooking, making tamarind balls and coconut drops and the whole works. She was photogenic. <laughs> what can I tell you? She will always remind you, make sure you don't put it on Facebook, do you? Alright. She hates surprises. On her birthday of about two years ago, we surprised her. We gave her a surprise birthday party. You know, that was one of the happiest moments of her life. As she got to see everybody home. You know, she didn't see in a long while. You know, after cussing out everybody, oh, they planned this and didn't tell her. She didn't understand that it was a surprise. So, you know, she had a good time with everybody. She was a very happy woman. Just like Dr. Scott said, she, she smiled for everything. She smiled for good things and bad things. She keeps, she never stops smiling. There was never a dull moment with her. Sewing with her hands. 
was her passion. She was a good seamstress. She was good at almost everything she put her hands to do. Late last year, Mama was diagnosed with breast cancer at stage four. You know how it is with stage four cancer? That one should be feeling a lot of pain, losing weight and all that. She bypassed all of that. The pain came like a month before she died. Yes. Jackie and Vincent decided to take her in their homes. So Jackie quit her job and stayed home with her. Vincent, her son-in-law, the one that saw beautiful here, Rekha. He loved and treated her just like his own mother. So when you hear him going on with all this thing we call foolishness, is there something you wanted to say and express? But I guess that was the best way he could express himself. So don't see him as doing something foolish. He will fight anybody, trace anybody for him from her grandma. Yes. After the numerous tests at the doctor's, Connor Regional Hospital, they ordered her to do a biopsy, which later resulted in surgery of the breast. This did not hold her hostage. I mean, she didn't stay in the bed, she didn't stay in one place. She was up and going about her business like nothing happened. She was a very, very strong. A woman of enduring faith. She was a faith lady who believed strongly in her God. And she also believed that God could heal her. Yes. The sickness never got her down. She was always in a high and cheerful spirit. This increased her strong faith in God. When asked how she was doing, she would answer, I'm giving thanks to my niece, or my nice, or my pretty girl, or be all right, man. Even when the pain rocked her, in the last moment, she said she was okay. There was never a dull moment with auntie. And not just with auntie, but with mama, and with grandma, and with her great grand, with my great great grandmama. Yes, we all remember, that's it. The surgery did not stop auntie from moving around. She wanted to do every and everything just the same. You remember, mommy mentioned earlier that leaving to the airport, she wanted to pull her suitcase. Little after the surgery. And when she didn't get a chance, she said, All right, Ruby, let me carry your handbag then, no? Yes. <laughs> Mommy never left without her bread. She would make sure she go and buy her the best bread down to. All, remember, I was going to California. And for those of you who know California, Danny, California has the best bread in the world. All kind of different bread. And Aunt Lita would make sure she give the bread to take to California for them. And you can excuse her, that is very subjective. Yes, the bread. That's right. Moving right along. Alright. On the 22nd of March, she fell ill. She fell ill. And got worse days after. She could hardly speak. At the hospital, uh, Jackie held her head down to listen to what she was saying because she was trying to say something. When she heard her muttering a song, and I guess all of you know which song that was, because they mentioned it a lot of times. All right, have a price for you. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Just imagine that on your dying bed, you remember to tell God to take your life and let it be consecrated. No one should go somewhere, 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 somewhere. Yes. Can yeah, I feel you that one? She's there. Uh, okay. Give God a praise for that. She's after saying these words. She made a transition to be with her maker. You see, he's not her dead, but she had hope. So I just want to encourage us that uh, let us not be weary 
of doing good. Let us fight this good fight of faith. And when our time and our hurt is ended, we too can say, it is well with our souls. Yes. Her soul shall live on some wonderful day. Now cares of this life has vanished far away. In rains above, in regions above, she will rest with her Lord and sing of his matchless love. Heavy load she has laid down. Just over the star, she will rest with her Lord and sing of his matchless love. God bless you all. Well, just a reminder, your past will be at the family residence. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to listen. And we are almost close. We just have two items left. I'm going to ask you, if it's a song, just one verse, please. And if something you want to say, just say two lines. I'm begging you, we're going to just come in and it's very late. So these two items, one is Donna Cunningham, please. And an item from Chris Dale. Friend, we're going to just come right here, please. And the family members, you may be seated. Take my life and let me be. Thank you. 
And as you're about to go and suffer, pray that your presence will continue to be with us now and forever. Amen. We're going to do the reception on him at this time. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend to my prayer. The platform party, please, will go first. Bring that. Bring it. Bring it. And the rest of the brethren will go right after. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth, will I cry unto
then we, we went out in the back and started playing church. And my brother was a pastor. Me and Andy, we were the members of the church. And let me tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with Jesus and still be the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care. You can be the chiefest of sinners. You will never be the same. And I've forgotten I've been going down to the church playing church. Came home still disobedient. Didn't want to wash the dishes. Didn't want to bring the clothes in off the line. Didn't want to do anything. Mama said, I'm sick of you going down to that church playing with God. We went in there. We went outdoors. We started playing church. Sat down on the bottom step. My brother was a preacher. And we were the members in the church. And he put some old glasses and put them right here on his nose. And he said, I, he said, I want you to jump up and shout Jesus three times. And I jumped up and I shouted Jesus two times. But when I jumped up the third time, something got a hold of me. So Shirley is out there playing with the Lord. Mama came to the door. But she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard, tears running down my face. It's just a lie. Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time. Can I hold the hand for that? I have something. Open the phone now. Open the phone and let me take it. Open the phone, sir. You're not for it. Sir, I'm going to do that. You don't want me to do that. Keep it here, man. Put it in a little Put it in. 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 Put it in.
We therefore commit our body to the ground, head to head, dust to dust. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. At this time, you can go. Shall we gather and Glory, my God. 
I'm gonna walk the streets of glory. I'm gonna sing redemption stories. I'm gonna walk the streets of glory by and by. Hey, I'm gonna walk the streets of glory by and by. I'm gonna walk the streets of glory. I'm gonna sing redemption story. I'm gonna walk the streets of glory by and by. Bye. Three next year. Three next year. No man. Three next year. The edge. Put on the edge. Yeah, that way. That way. That's strong. Meet me by the river, not far away. Oh, when my Lord shall call me home, happy, happy, oh, beyond the sky. Meet me by the river. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the 
Searching for that open door 